Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. We're gonna get a hot start to the day here. We need research data. We need about 200 of it. Reset that, hit it again. Damn it. So yeah, we need about 200 to get the workbench, and then after we get the workbench, we can get the cement mixer, the elevator, and also the impact driver, which would be kind of nice. The, the ratchet is still crafting. This place looks kind of small. Oh, also, any uh, corn here? Because I really need corn. Nah, it just looks like a bunch of junk crops. Oh, pumpkins. Four. Well, let's try to get a sneak attack on them. I don't know if it'll be enough. Ah, there we go. Really don't need the meat, but I could use the animal fat. Ooh, coffee. Yeah, this place not too bad. Ooh, cop. Seems small for, ooh, one shot, nice. Yeah, seems small for a tier four, so I'm expecting grave danger once we get inside. I have done this before. I don't remember it being any sort of like a major threat POI. Uh, although there are some dogs in that little, oh, there he is right there, I can see him. Got him. Oh, hello Arlene. Right in the, you know what. Now, what do these give you again? I have forgotten. Electrical parts, mechanical parts, does it, does it give me like the radiator? Ah, yes it does. And that's the good one that sells or scraps into brass, which I need for bullet casings anyway. So yeah, good to have. Also, I've been looking at some recipes. Gonna need a lot of scrap rubber. So I gotta start harvesting that up whenever I see it. I love mods where everything has a use. It's just wonderful. And a uh, nasty storm rolling in looks like. Speaking of a storm rolling in, I have increased the wandering horde size just a little bit. I think the variability was anywhere from zero to 30 zombies before, and uh, it's increased now. What is it gonna be? It's like five to 40 or something like that is the variability. Five to 35, I think. So, you know, just a very slight increase. I don't wanna overwhelm myself, but yeah, I just wanna see what it would feel like eventually maybe to get like, 50 or 60 zombies in a wandering horde. I think that'd be awesome. Don't think we're quite ready for it just yet though. Oh, look at that battery. Damn, my bow skill's getting pretty good. Well, I guess we're going inside. It's uh, all clear out here. These give you a little bit of brass, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna like <laughs> open the window up so I can get right out of here if I have to. Oh, and this reminds me, someone had asked me why I don't do the power attack for wrenching. And uh, this is probably a good opportunity for me to show you because these are all ovens and it'll be all the same. Okay, so if I left click, that brings it down to 213. If I right click, brings it down to 213. I'd already tested that and I just probably didn't include it in an episode, but uh, yeah, power attack does not give you any benefit here in Undead Legacy like it does in vanilla. Impact bracing mod, nice. Way better than my muffled connectors. Good deal. Oh, look at this, a key box. What does that go to? Not this, apparently. This is a super quiet place. This would be the front door. Oh, I missed Arlene out there, did I? Oh, another key box. Oh, jeez, cop, oh crap. Hello, sir. Speaking of cop, we got a cop wandering ar around outside. That could probably only mean one thing, and that's uh, that, yes, there is a wandering horde out here. Whoa! Ow! Okay, well, I'm gonna need some frames back, guys, so can you please come over here? It doesn't look like this was a very big wandering horde, if I had to say so right now. Need them to come over here because I can't leave the area. Oh, spit coming! Whoa! More spit! Wow! Yeah, <laughs> coming from all directions! No! Ow, stop that! What do you got, man? What do you got? Yeah! Oh, I couldn't jump over it, damn it. Oh, that is actually a fairly large wandering horde. Okay, well, I just gotta get their attention. Come over this way, I'm not allowed to cross the road here. Ow, whoa, <laughs> jeez, man. All right, it's time for some first aid. Whoa, using zombies to body block for me. Meat shield. Don't let him blow, he's gonna blow. Oh, crap. Nice. Got a skill point. I'm up to two. Nice. All right. 
I think that was it. Let's have a look at those skill points. Yes, like I had said in the last episode, I believe I want to take one more into agility and that's it. All right, where were we? Give me some research data in here. Uh oh, mm, no, close that door. Can't close that door. Still a very quiet POI, kind of surprising. I'm sure there's some kind of a trap in here somewhere. Oh, another key box. Wow, they're, they're everywhere. I have been informed in the comments that king size beds are pretty valuable. I think their value is 50, if I recall from earlier in the series, uh, but they weigh 10 pounds. That's why I'm not lugging those things around. Oh, there's that key rack there. Man, I don't know where all these things are going. I think I prefer just, you know, <laughs> knocking the doors down. Whoa, hello, sir. You the cheating motherfucker, get out of here. Mm, we'll wait for the eye candy, I think, on that one. <laughs> that key box, uh, that key rack does not go to this door. That's uh, kind of interesting. Ah, here's our supply satchel that we were looking for. Ooh, vault door. Another loot bag. This must be, though, where the big danger is back here. And that's locked. And I imagine that's like a 6,000, 21,000. Oh my God. Can I go in through the side? I guess I could. There's probably a key box that opens it up though. I would imagine. Like this one? No, not that one. Oh, spider. Hello. I was kind of thinking my, my new sneaking skills, if we continue specking into sneaking stuff, I, it might help us at the horde base, just like at nighttime, just kind of like crouch down and sneak all night long. Oh, that must be behind that door, I would imagine, where those zombies are. Oh, they are trying to break out through here. Oh, look, a little pipe. Well, thank you guys for showing me that. Brilliant. Right, so this is uh, a little sneaky area to get around, I think. What do I do, go in right here? So that's still locked. If I keep going around though, I'll probably get around that. Ooh, what's over here? Aha! Got a gun safe, I think, and a weapons bag. Yeah, ooh! Going up, and that's locked. How about this key box? Yeah, there we go. Wow, cool. All right, blow this up. Oh, Arpeline, you came all the way out and around? You clever girl. All right, I'm gonna go lights out, because this um, is the attic, so is it... Oh, wow, there's the loot chest. Full of zombies up here, or what? It kind of is, actually. Jeez, I at least expected ferals up here, but it looks very tame. I'd say this is one of those poorly balanced POIs right here, if I had to say so myself. Luckily, it's uh, poorly balanced in our favor. Yeah, seven fit should have been a tier four, and this should have been probably a tier two or three by the looks of it. Okay, we've got some eye candy. Let's take one, see what we can get. Oh, I was gonna try and take that, but it's not gonna let me. Damn, that sucks. Oh, I can take everything else in the world. Why can't I take this? Damn it. Ooh, steel club. Iron machete, cool. So what's going on in this? Is this like a secret thing filled with stuff or... Oh, here we go. Yeah, still got to clear this area out for the order. Oh, that opened up those doors. I heard the vault doors open. Oh, birds. Uh-oh. Okay, we've got the icon. We know where the others are. Ow. Okay, we've got one more in the chicken coop. Is that that chicken over there? Well, let's go find- Whoa, whoa, crap. Chicken! Hello? That, that was it. <laughs> I gotta kill the chickens. I love it. Hey, we've got uh, one minute, 57 seconds left on the looting candy, and that is my favorite loot gank in the game right there, so I'm heading straight there. Hidden stash over here as well. Ooh, and we, if we have time left after that, we can try to hit the main loot on that one. That's pretty easy to get into. All right, let's do this. Oh, goodbye. That's it. Ooh, steel combat knife treasure map.
Okay, where's that other farm? Right there. Let's hit this. We have, oh, uh, no time left. Oh, time ran out. Damn it. In that case, oops, storm rolling in. Let's get some corn while we're here. All set. And I think what I'll do actually is we'll turn the quest in right now. And then I want to see if um, Trader Ellen will give me that tier three job at the Pebcac computer repair store and crack a book. It's like a quad or something like that. And so we could redo that because I would certainly consider doing that just to get the extra research data. Hey, what's up? Greetings. How can I help? Perfect. Ooh, junk. Crap. Uh, what's well, sell price? Sell price is much better. 556, five, not too bad, but yeah, I'll honestly just, I'll take the, the Dukes for that. We'll sell it later though. Any jobs? Let's go previous tier. No, no, none of these are the correct one. What's that gas station though? You're looking a little weak. Oh, that's the, uh, the, the good passing gas. No, decline. Understood. So I guess what I'll do is I'll continue checking the previous tier until we can get that tier three again. So we'll have to check again tomorrow. In terms of tier fours though, what do we got here? Oh, another Z-Bark POI. Man, I feel like this is like the Z-Bark pack, not the compo pack. <laughs> How about, um, what is this? Uh, some sort of a tier. Oh, that's the one with the savage country on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why awesome. not. We can do that. Got to clear out that skyscraper. Cool. Oh, and uh, somebody, one of you had something that I want. Right. Yes. In the secret stash for Sergeant Maxton, he has the car repair kit schematic, which I'm going to purchase. When's the restock day? It's the day after the horde. So we're going to have to do that basically right now. Let's just do it. And I should have eaten an eye candy, but I, I don't have any on me anyway. Okay, whatever. So, yeah, the reason I want to do that Very is because well. I have figured out... I had to just um, look it up, basically. And the Humvees like this... Uh, I don't know that you could actually take one of these and repair it. I, I doubt that you could. But, uh, yes, these are cars. I thought these were trucks. So I'm just going to hope that we can find one of these out there out in the world and repair it because this is the vehicle that ultimately I really want so yeah the truck repair kit is for like the military truck um you know we've seen those around but there's like one that's specific for undead legacy it's um what do they call those deuce and a half or something like that you know is what we called them when I was in the army but I don't know that I really want one of those I guess if we could get the materials like if I could start finding some truck tires and stuff like that I wouldn't mind having one because it probably has like a really good towing capacity. But otherwise, yeah, I just want something that's like small, lightweight, good on fuel, maneuverable, etc. Oh, crap. So, yeah, we got to hope that I got enough research data here. Um, let's look. I wonder if you could sc <laughs> scrap these. Okay, so uh, you can scrap them, actually. Let's examine it, though. I do want to dig this up. We could probably maybe do that today. Hidden stash started. Jennifer's treasure map. That's going to be... Ah, up there next to the pyramid kind of thingy over there. Okay, uh, I suppose we just do that at the same time sometime. Right, read the car repair kit. In fact, what do I need to make that? In the mechanics table, tier two, and actually I can pretty much almost craft it right now. Mechanics table, tier two. I imagine, yes, of course, research data, blah, blah, blah. Okay, perhaps some other time, although, being that it's so easy to craft a car repair kit, it stands to reason that I could just get myself a, a, a Jeep or something nearby, like the 4x4, and then hopefully someday we'll have to look for like a military POI, like, um, uh, what's it called? Red Mesa or something like that, or like one of the military uh, ranger stations or something like that. There might, there might be a Humvee in one of those spots. Okay, after everything today... I'm still short on research data. I need like one more schematic. Okay, I'm just gonna go find a friggin' mailbox somewhere. Alternatively, I could just jump up into this POI here and see if there's a quick um, bookshelf or passing gas box or friggin' really anything. You, die. Ow. Oh, what is that? Um, what is this? Is that a crawler? Who's up there? Whoa. Woke somebody up somewhere. Oh, hello. Who's awake? Awake down here? No. Awake up there? Who's up here? Oh my god. What is going on here anyway? That's creepy. Can I sneak out the window? Where are these zombies? On the roof? What the hell? Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. Lots of them. Ow. Whoa, what are you all hiding in here anyway? You know, I just took those couple of electronics there. I might be able to just... Ooh, lucky goggles! Ooh, those are pretty good ones too. 
Yeah, I might be able to just check the disassembly bench. There might be enough data. Just to, ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, ow, that hurt. Oh, there's a bookshelf. Nice. Please be something I don't need that I can scrap. Yes. Wasteland treasures. Oh, adds a chance to ha uh, harvest acid from car. I do need that. Harvesting acid from cars uh, seems like something I need. Yes, take that. I got the research data I needed then. I am out of here. Hmm, might just um, take a little extra peek here. What's going on here? Is this the main loot room or what? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, might as well with the lucky goggles. Who's that? Okay, real quickly now, get this. Hey, another Badger 9, some 10 mil. Holy crap. <laughs> Leaving. We also have to go over to the Horde base tomorrow. That's going to be the goal there and get that all fortified for tomorrow night. So, can we do it? We can do it. Let's go, baby. Nice. Now, big thing is going to be, yes, cement mixer. And we have everything we need to do that. Perfect. Craft that. Iron breaker mod. I suppose that would be a lot better for my pickaxe. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft one of those, just get it out of the way, right? Molotovs, yeah, we're gonna need Molotovs for tonight. Oh, but also the elevator. We need the elevator for tomorrow. Okay, we need iron tons, tons of iron plates, holy cow. And we need nuts and bolts. We also need this seven by four door, but that's less important than the elevator and that's gonna require a lot of iron plates too. So we will get to that eventually. Okay, everything's done. Pop this down really anywhere. Can I get any concrete mix? I can. Need more stone powder. Luckily, before I walked out today, I did make a little bit of stone powder along with all the cold powder we have. So we should be able to get 323. That's actually not that bad. It's perfect because we can use just enough to get the fighting position upgraded back at the base. And I believe, yeah, we're just gonna have to do some iron mining here for the remainder of the day into the night get 75 right there yeah we've got to mine some iron we're gonna need like maybe a thousand ore so put this stuff away get myself a little bit of coffee and a rockbuster and let's do some mining coffee rockbusters and let's get to work Well, that was a hell of a mining trip. Two full loads, basically uh, two full copies and two f or one full Rockbuster, I should say. I'd say that would probably be enough. I'm hoping it'll be enough also to get the seven by four door, but probably not. Cause uh, if I do the rough math on that, that was what, 200 plates, that's 400 bars. And that's uh, is that like 800 ore or something like that. What do we got here? 312 bars. Nice. Kind of just trying to make a habit of getting all the other ingots crafted as I can so that we can turn those into bullets. An extra 118 plates there. That's a lot. That should be plenty enough for the elevator at least. Elevator number four. Yep. We only need like 50 more. Okay. I am reminded that we do need to get preferably a vault hatch. That's going to require some more steel. Okay, so maybe don't make all of this into iron. We do some into steel. Yeah, because we need the vault hatch. That's going to require six more. And the impact driver, which is going to require 20 on top of that. So we need 26 more steel. Also, we're going to need nuts and bolts, I think. Okay, vault hatch, go. Impact driver, go. Elevator, go. Ooh, only two minutes on that. Very nice. Okay, so for the remainder of the night, I'm just gonna do chores around the base and we will get all of our building materials ready and head over to the Horde base first thing in the morning.
All right, here we are. It's been a very busy morning. I swung by Trader Rex and I picked up all of our 44 Magnum ammunition. And I have a whole bunch of materials on me. In fact, I need to put some of them away so that I can actually move here. Can I pick up the platform? I can. I need to just put everything away for now. Okay, yes. And I can move again. Good. First step here is going to be to get the elevator in. Nice and flat. Now we have to remove everything that's in the elevator shaft. Okay, now we should be good to place this down. At least I hope. And this is the spot right there. Oh, yes. We finally got it. Check this out, guys. Level three, please. Up we go. And you can put vehicles on this, too. It's so nice. And then we're going to have a nice door right here so that, you know, zombies couldn't push through you know it just probably just would look better we'll have a nice uh, living area crafting area here on this side overlooking the lake and uh, let's see if we can push all the way to the fourth floor this is going to be the main crafting area the big crafting area you'll see okay so we'll get to building a little bit later in the week and then basically this next week after this horde the goal will be to move everything over and i'm even debating just taking like a whole day to do that so back to level one please Perfect, and let's see if I can get the bike on here. That should do for now. All right, let's ride this up onto the elevator. Nice. Good, look at this. Going up. And then that way we can have a vehicle full of stuff from mining and looting and not have to make multiple trips because I'll just be able to go right to the fourth floor with my vehicle, unload, put my stuff away, and easy and done. Uh oh, dog and bear. Great. Love the wasteland. Let's get a little bit of ammo on me. Okay, that doesn't leave me with any particularly easy way to get down. I guess I can always just take my ladder. All right, where is this guy? Stop. No, 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 no. Don't be beating on the brand new elevator, please. How much damage did you do? Okay, we got 17,000 hit points. That's requiring iron plating to fix. Okay, so probably an important thing to start off with is like walling this in properly. And if I want to call my elevator down because all of my stuff is in the bike, I just do that. Oh, hopefully that's not like breaking my bike though when I do that. That would be sad. And just uh, real quickly here, wall this in. I'm not sure that that's gonna keep them out though. I think they'll just jump right in. And then I don't really wanna wall this in because I'm going to have to, well, maybe I can wall it in with just some wood for now just to keep people out. Hey, skill point right there. Let's have a look. I think in uh, where I have all the 44 ammo now that, uh, ooh, run and gun though. As much hip firing as I do, that's probably mandatory for me. Yeah, let's go gunslinger for tonight. Gonna try to get some good combat skill action going on. So here's the thing, you just walk around the edge here, call up the elevator. Good, and then I can just grab all of my clay bricks right out of here. Then I did get this vault hatch to go right on top here on face rotation, rotate, put that down. And I shouldn't have any more stupid, uh, feral friggin' bubbles coming through here and breaking my iron hatch. Although, that will be requiring steel to repair and also steel to upgrade. I don't think I can upgrade any more. That'll take 12 more steel plates, so I'll use the remaining 8 that I have for repairs if needed. Okay, get everything all fixed up. And do I have the mix on me? Yes, give me the concrete mix. We're gonna need to upgrade some of this stuff. 91? No, 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 I had way more than 91. And I probably left it back at the base. Dang it. Oh, concrete has a different texture than I was expecting. Yes, that is the reinforced concrete texture, which um, I guess is okay. You know, it's, uh, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense because it's not reinforced, but yeah, whatever. Okay, gotta be cautious here. It's only using five. I think the default is ten. I don't know. It's been so friggin' long since I've played vanilla. I don't even know <laughs> what's vanilla and what's not vanilla anymore. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna need you to uh, take this 44 Magnum bullet to the face. Oh, you son of a bitch. They have such a high attack speed. You bastard. Okay, I'm just gonna do like a once over here and check the damage of the ladder. And also probably just make sure that like... A cup, maybe, I don't know if I need to upgrade this to concrete or not, or if, or if I should just save it for now. Yeah, because like, they really, oh, some of these blocks have taken 
quite a bit of damage, but it seems to be kind of like random. Again, I don't really see this being a, a collapse risk, especially once we get it upgraded properly. I'm sure the rads will completely change my mind on that, but you know, we'll see. Okay, everything is repaired to my liking. I am going to now get started on the pit. So we need to dig out a huge area here. Not huge, but like, it's just some, uh, some bit of like a deep hole here to contain the zombies temporarily as they fall off the pole and off the diving board thing up there. And I think that there will be the rough outline of it. We also need to get the dog trap. So I have a special thing in mind to kind of coerce the dogs and potentially bears. Ooh, airdrop. Where's that? Way off that way. Airdrop. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. The dog trap. Yeah. In fact, so yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I need to make a little modification here. The wall, the back wall of the pit is, oh, is that a landmine? No. The back wall of the pit will be here, flush with the front of the fighting position, so pull all this stuff up. And then the actual dog ramp will be about, like, right here. Just waiting for a bear to sneak up on me. I can hear him thrashing around. So someone had asked me why I'm not just, um, building a ramp to the top there. And, like, that would make sense, but it would require, like, four times as many blocks to do what we're doing here. And plus, you know, the ladder thing is just unique and cool, right? There's that bear. Okay, and then we just put a block here, flat block, okay? And a block here. I don't really know if this is going to work, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sledge turret right here, and then the dogs are gonna come up here, because remember during the last Horde night, they were just kind of clustering down here and staying here? Well, zombie AI pathing calculation is uh, achieve the same elevation level as the player first and then move horizontally until you get to the player so what they're going to try to do dogs and bears is they're going to come up vertically to try to achieve same elevation and then they're going to try to move horizontally which there's nowhere they can go so they'll just run in circles right here and then the punch turret will punch them down into the pit where i will then be able to throw molotovs and stuff like that down onto them but i do want to check and see if this is going to be too disruptive to my line of sight there. Oh, is that really gonna break my bike? Uh, I don't think so. Right, so if I come up here... No, I think I can, um, I can still see really well from up here. I just need to be able to see where the ladders are gonna be, because there's gonna be ladders down there for, uh, bipedal zombies to get out, and all the four-legged zombies can just stay in there and get burned. This is basically gonna be like a Molotov base, primarily. Okay, now we just need to dig a hole. All right, that's a pretty good-sized pit, I would say. This really needs to be deep enough to contain, I don't know, 30 or so zombies. Ow! Oh my goodness. Well, I brought a splint. Trying to get fancy on my base here. <laughs> Trying to do that right there. Like, how hard is that, really? I don't have really much of anything left. Did I leave anything? Oh, I left a whole bunch of crap in here. Give me all that. All right, well, that's like the rough outline of the pit. Let's, um, let's see here. We want to come down here. I want to get these ladders, like, as stone, because they're important. So, what are we thinking here? I want to put some, like, shielding here, because these blocks are really important, because they're holding up the column. So, we'll start with ladders right there. All the way to the bottom. And we'll put, we'll put one on each side. I think two ladders is fine. We don't want them getting too angry down here because they might start tunneling. Although they, they'd have a lot of tunneling to do. And if they do just start tunneling, I don't think they'll get very far. And then like the next day, I'll just fill it in with even stronger shapes. I think what I'll do is head back to the base, get a cast and a health bar so that we're good to go for tonight. I'll pick up the rest of the shapes and then I think we're pretty much good to go after that. Might as well swing by and see what this has today. Maybe some ammo. <laughs> Blueberry seed recipe. And a whole bunch of wooden planks to encumber me even more. Scrap that shit. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes, the bird problem. Nah, it should be good with spikes up there. It seemed to work pretty well last time. And I got the little, like, um, uh, skylight here I can shoot from. Okay, I have a feeling that this is gonna work pretty well. They might uh, end up inadvertently tunneling a little bit down there, but that's fine because we have to do some tunneling down there anyway. And, oh yes, the punch turret. Right, we gotta put that down there. 
There is this question, though. I think what I'll do for tonight is just seal this in and hope that this disrupts zombie pathing just enough so that they do not want to go in there. How many I got left? 22? Here, continue going this way. That way they don't see that as a path to jump in. Right, so this is gonna go right there. Punching dogs and whatever else down into the pit, hopefully. I think I do need to get some bricks and fix that stuff though. Yeah, let's do that. Give me some bricks. I picked up the rest of the concrete mix, so I'll grab that as well. And we need to decide, um... Oh shit! Nope, oh, we're fine. Yeah, I think just like... <laughs> all of this stuff basically just needs to be... Uh, concrete right here. Oh, hello, dog. Where do you want to go? You want to go to the front. That's not good. Another one. Are you? Is this a freaking horde? Call the elevator. It's gonna squish me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we're good. Going up. Please come over here. Please come to the door. Why? Why do I get wandering hordes right when the regular horde is supposed to start? I'm busy. Oh, I heard uh, the dog get punched. Dog is getting punched. Come on, dog. Into the pit with you. Oh, uh, one of them did get... Ah, <laughs> it works. Oh, nice. Okay, now we get the Molotov and we light everyone on fire down there. Yeah. Good little dry run here. See how it goes. That's good. They're not trying to beat on my elevator. That pleases me. You hear that, zombies? I'm pleased. More fire. Yeah, the dogs are pretty tough. They're just gonna sit down there and, and chill until they burn to death. Which might take, um, I don't know, a couple Molotovs, but that's fine. And all you regular zombies should make your way up here eventually pretty soft, because, you know, I don't have a lot of DPS with the sword, but... Oh, look at all the dead bodies down there. Nice. All right. Well, while they're kind of figuring their shit out, I'm gonna just go ahead and return to what I was doing. Yeah, might as well upgrade these. You know, that tower, if they did knock out the bottom, I was thinking that it is attached to the main base. And so these blocks here are somewhat important because they become load bearing blocks. Like that one right there, I think is like the master load bearing block. Anyway, yeah, guys, I need to go back downstairs. So if you could all just die, that would be great. You clumsy motherfuckers. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter there, buddy? Okay, let me back down here and kill you. Good, yeah, okay, so they didn't even want to jump in here like I thought that they might. Uh, go ahead and continue upgrading all of this stuff, though. This is all very important. What I want to do eventually is make windows. And so I think I'll put like a row of blocks there and then we'll have a two block wide gap for windows. And I'll maybe like put something that will give it some sort of architectural flair to look a little bit nicer. This will be a big door here on the side. In fact, um, I don't have the other shapes on me, but like that there actually can be sealed in right to the top. And then I believe the elevator is providing structural support. I think like this does have horizontal support and uh, oh yeah, we only have like an hour left. So yeah, let's get ready. Don't, 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 don't. Right, I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. Well, the day 28 horde is approaching and it's time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. That pit must be filling up by now. Yep, quite a few down there. Let's have a look and see how well they're falling down. It really, really well, it looks like. Okay, gotta should maybe conserve the Molotovs. Whoa, look out, buddy. Maybe try to conserve the Molotovs a little bit. Okay, they're starting to burn out a little bit. Some of them bounce so far that they don't even make the lip of the, the pit down there. That's okay, though. I can hear a rattlesnake. No snakes in Horde Knight allowed. Kill that cop. He's gonna blow. Oh, there he goes. 
Okay, things are going much better tonight than they did the other night when we had all those ferals stop by. Pay us a little bit of a visit. All right, uh, modify silencer off of the pistol, please. Thank you. Oh, more cops blowing up, great. Are you wrecking my stuff? Don't do that. Ow, big mama. Okay, let's take a look here. How much are they damaging things? Really not at all so far. I think we're doing great. So set them alight. Yeah, as soon as we get some traps, I think this base is gonna work out really well. I need some help with uh, DPS because I'm not, I'm, I'm not able to like melee consistently and I don't know what the best solution for that is, but I think just having some blade traps and some electric fences is gonna help out a lot. No, sir. I love how he can just stand there trying to spit at me and the zombies below him, like, just continue pushing him straight up. The one-way elevator! No dogs yet, haven't been able to test out the sledge turret. And also, no bears have wandered in, I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. Alright, shotgun time! Oh, whose arm is that? That's gross. I think I could even just like throw Molotovs directly out there. <laughs> that works just as well as anything. Okay, you can see the wear starting to show on this block in front of me because I'm not paying enough attention. Yeah, it's down almost a halfway. Okay, ooh, and that one out there is down about a quarter. I think we're doing fine. Uh-oh, nope, 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 ow. So the pit is not filling up nearly as quickly as I had expected it to. Yeah, they're just falling right down and zipping their way right back out. No problem. Oh, wow. Actually, the ladders slow them down just enough that the headshots become really easy. Okay, not paying enough attention over here. Get back. Look out. Ah! Go ahead and chomp down a hobo stew. Get some more fire onto him. All right, shit's getting real thick up here. Get the bull pup out. really not feeling the ammo crunch nearly as bad as I was the last horde because primarily there are no bears. Nope, whoop, oh crap, I forgot to, I didn't light that one. Why am I on fire? I have nothing to drink. Yes, I have a goldenrod tea. <laughs> drink it, did you drink it? Where did it go? Oh man, I had to drink my black trap coffee. How did that happen? Damn it, first aid kit. All right, things getting bad up here now. I guess what I thought is that you had to light it to throw it and it otherwise wouldn't work. I guess you do not have to light it. Maybe that's a mod specific thing or I don't know. I, I thought they just landed on the ground. Oh, we got a dog here, finally. Let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> Mo decided to give it a try. I think I have to basically be in the middle in order for it to work. Oh, it worked perfectly. That was wonderful. So now that dog is just gonna hang out down in the pit. And I'll continue throwing Molotovs down there for everybody else. More dogs down there. As long as I'm st sit standing in the middle here, I think they come right up to that little pyramid thing that we made for them. I hear the dogs. Dogs are uh, getting punched into the pit, I think. I hear, I heard it, yep. I can see them getting punched down there. The fog is kind of thick right now, so it's hard to see what the hell's going on. Oh, there's that bird. Get him. Oh, construction zombie took a bullet for the bird. Wow, I'm going right straight through my Molotovs. I did make as much gas as I could, but the limiting factor was oil shale. So next week we need to go to the desert and mine a whole bunch of that stuff. 
There's also that POI that's kind of like right across the road from where we live that has the mine underneath that has a little bit of oil shale in there. That might hold us over. I can hear the punch turret going, which means there are some things down in the pit that need to be lit on fire. Go oh, crap! Oh man, I don't have any uh, drinks anymore, do I? Uh-oh, uh-oh, no. Oh, I was in the rain. I got put out by the rain. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Oh, look at that. They've knocked out a couple of blocks there from the tower. When I was doing repairs, it didn't seem like they did a whole lot of damage to the ladder, but they do do damage to the block behind it, which is kind of weird if you think about it, but yeah, whatever. We'll upgrade that all to concrete before the next horde. And the sun has risen. It is a new day. The horde is over. Well, almost. Come on, turret. Punch him in there. Punch him in. There you go. Good job. One more. <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. They've, uh, they carved a hole kind of into the wall so that they were able to get out. That's, I think the dogs probably did that, which is stupid. That's fine. We'll fix that with some construction to kind of fortify the wall. Okay. Eye candy in because we're in the wasteland, so we absolutely have to do that. Benefit as much as we can. We'll see what we get today. Whoa. Oh my goodness. A tier B auger. What? And I'll scrap that for the research data. Wow. Whoa, some steel boots, a good double clothing pocket bod. Is this, oh, the drone armor cage thing. Yeah, don't need that. Oh, more steel armor. Come on, where's the military armor? That's it for the pit. And that is entirely it. Wow, what a sweet find to get that auger though. Yeah, so they did try to beat in here a little bit. Overall, we can call the elevator down. I do think that that's probably damaging my vehicle. Yeah, it definitely is because the hit points were between the R and the E on the Renegade thing. And now um, that's it's a lot lower than that. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to see if we can haul that into the maintenance station and get that repaired. Right, so I suppose all I need to do is put away basically the ammo and stuff. Uh, everything's gonna wind up here eventually. So basically anything I can leave behind, I will leave behind. Okay, that's everything. And what I think I will do is I will head back to the base and tomorrow will be basically the big moving day and the big construction day getting like the crafting area and all of the workstations back over here but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night and tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy we are the tip of the spear raiders in the night avengers for all mankind we are the order of steel while you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. Anyway, my name is Tamreki, and I hope this video has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.